first off, I think uh, my favorite track. The message in the song is so strong and like important and like it came so easily. So it just seemed like like I was working in the spirit in that moment and stuff and everything just came out really good. I don't know you but I feel die for your matter, die for your matter. Yo, my name is um, Emeka Kumefule, but they call me Black Bones. Um, I'm from Imo State, you know, and I rap. I'm like the hottest rap thing right now. <laughs> the name of my album is Bad Boy Black. I've dropped like two projects in the space of like five months. So one is like the proper album titled Bad Boy Black. The other one is a re-up of that album titled Bad Boy Black Re-Up. Profit is a calculated risk, but the fans really got me. Everything I do, dope, just got it. Lost it, then I came back, just got it. So I'm signed to um, 100 Crowns, a subsidiary of Chocolate City. For the five tracks, five of my favorite tracks, I'm going to combine my Bad Boy Black, the original album, and the Bad Boy Black re up, and I'll tell you like, my favorite tracks. And I love how we sounded the intro. Like we did a lot of like um, stuff in the intro, and like Alpha is a genius with the production. I think my next favorite song is is Play. When I made this song, right. It was the first time I would try my hand on like an Afro pop song and it was like really, you know, tricky. Like, okay, how do, how do they do it? How do they try to make this song sound like hits and everything? So like there was like back and forth. I'll send it to somebody like, what do you think? Is, do we need to do something else? Like I'll go back to the studio. I went back to the studio like six times to work on that one song. And like, I'm so glad it ended up coming out like really great. As a bad boy, we a be self, I be player, player. When I play with the player, player. Uh. Denied, I think Denied is my another favorite. Uh, I'm so ahead of my time. 2018 held me back. Carry the cross, I'm like Christ. Pray to God to save my life. I was already done with the project as at that time, but I just knew that I needed one particular song to tie everything together. Like the whole vibe and I just like I just started writing Denied and everything just came so like smoothly and the, the lines are like you know like those kind of you know caption lines that people will like post in their stories and post everywhere like there's this line um, um, I can hear I can I can hear you over the sound of my greatness like all those kind of like really cool lines were just coming through like I think I was really inspired at that time and stuff I'm a good guy and that leads to my fourth favorite song good boy I'm a very different kind of somebody. I'm not someone that is into all those kind of sweet I just put it out. It's very hilarious and like I worked with BOJ and CK and it was just, you know, it was just sweet because like we, we did it like it was the first time I put like the headphones on and stepped to the mic without having like everything written out. Just like let's see what, what happens when you when I step to this mic without preparing too much and it just came out so good and everybody was like what how did you do this i'm like i don't even know so like that came out well and everything um fifth song would be mommy water we're never thinking we're trying to make the biggest song of the project it was just make a great song Oxlade came through with like the craziest vocals and just killed it and I just dropped my verses and everything was just so smooth. When the album now came out, everybody was so hyped. Mami what I'm like, wow, so we like we created a song that that's this good but that we didn't even realize it. So yeah, I think those are my five favorite songs. I know they play this jack, it's a dog boy Pocket looking like tooth when she's shaking a bum bum I don't know which one is picking my pocket or come down My D looking for picking up jeans like cut down I think my favorite stage performance has to be Unilag Because I didn't, I didn't expect anything I'm a student of OAU I was invited to Lagos and I got on stage And I didn't, I didn't think 
I would get a reaction simply by them calling my name. You know, like it was just, it was just so surprising when they called my name and everybody was like so hyped out, like, oh wow, they know me in this school. So like, that was really good and stuff. There was this day in school, like I just recorded this song. I don't know why I believe that a song I just recorded in the morning, I could perform it in the night. Like it was just crazy, but I thought I knew the song till I got on stage and realized I did not know the song. So I stepped on stage, I forgot the whole song and I was just lost looking at the crowd there till like for like one minute. See they had to come back, like the organizer had to come back carry me off the stage. Like this guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> it was just a crazy moment. Riding on everywhere, got my board out here. Hey, Instead of rappers, got me board out here. I know they let any opportunity pass me by. I did rap, I did sing, gotta stack the bar. I did trap like the Migos, bars like Kendrick. First, I, I look up to M.I. because of he blew up with an album. M.I. and Bryson Tiller. I like it when artists blow up with like albums. It just feels more, it feels like the, the people love them more and they are respected no matter what happens. So I've always wanted to like, to, to have an album tied to the beginning of whatever success that I have. There are other artists like, you know, Tory Lanez, Tenny, people that are really outspoken on like social media and everything. So they inspire me to just come out and absolutely be myself. So like so many different reasons why I look up to a lot of different artists. I don't know, it seems like recently because of how open I am on social media, it seems like everybody knows who I am and the real me and knows everything that I do. So I don't feel like anything that they don't know is probably one deep secret that I will not even tell them now. So, <laughs> yeah. Trying to make an impression. Tired of trying to prove a point with a session. Low enough's easy. Staying up's hard. Easy? I've been trying to blow up every season. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always working. I'm already working on the next Thing that I want to put out like I feel like in my career there's hardly a time when I don't have a project that 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 is 70 percent ready I just always have have them and I'm waiting for like something so I always just work on them no matter what so even though I just put out something like a week ago I'm still trying to I'm still working on new stuff so I'm um, Mr. the bad boy black and my album is out it's called bad boy black re-up Go and check it. I've been topping the charts for like a while. It's like it's, it's not beans, bro. It's not beans. So and you just finished watching my episode of my music and I. Thank you.